Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an update for Super Godzilla Final Wars and Ruby Forbidden Love. Now I know what you guys are going to say. Why am I giving an update for this series, well, this movie? Considering I haven't gotten Wrath and Terror of Evil Super Godzilla Final Wars done, gotten. I haven't even gotten started on Bring Back a Legend, and haven't even gotten started on the other five movies. Well, four, ten, yeah, four. I haven't gotten started on the other four movies. Well, Kansas 3 and I, we actually started reading through some of the plots and part of the story that Zoltzhausen gave us, and he said if there were anything that we didn't like, he'll be more than glad to change it. And, of course, we saw a lot of problems, and, yeah, he's currently changing the majority of the story right now. And this kind of happened a week ago, so he should be almost done with it by now. But yeah, I'm going to be explaining a few, well, only a few parts of the changes, nothing major, but basically I'm going to be explaining parts of the story. Rapunzel will still be the main villain for this movie. That will not change, even though she's kind of the main villain for freaking True Love Finds a Way and sort of the main villain for Bring Back a Legend. She's like one of the four main villains. But, um, basically the other part of the story that will change is basically, um, the part where Super Final Wars and Ruby, well, not Ruby, um, the part that two followers will have that I, I would kind of have kids in the series, basically Max, uh, Ultier, Junior, Dylan, Sam, and Alexis, and Derek, um, well, except for Derek, he'll still kind of be a, a kid in the series, but, well, in the movie, but the others, they'll basically be like full-grown adults. And if you're wondering who is the mother, well, obviously the mother is Or, so. But basically after her death, which was caused by Rapunzel, Um, basically after her death, um, Max and the others have been basically kind of nagging at me to basically get a freaking girlfriend, and I told them a lot about Ruby. So they're just like, well, if you see her one day, go ask her out. And also, a little bit of a Volume 9, Episode 7 reference will be featured in the movie. Basically, Jean yells at Ruby, and Ruby kind of goes off on her own, and almost gets herself killed. But this time, uh, Max and the others show up to save her just in time, and they realize who it is, and they kind of tell her everything, and... Well, the rest will, and the rest will just basically go to Ruby, as she and Super Fun Awards will eventually kind of hook up and become a couple. At the same time, they would take down Rapunzel, and 
Yeah. Speaking of which, I know what you guys are going to be wondering, what about David and Lucas? Are they going to be a main villain, or no? Unfortunately, David and Lucas will not be a main villain for the movie, for this particular movie. The reason why David and Lucas will not be a main villain for this movie because, for one, Zola tells me and Karen Top 3, we could not find a role for them to basically be a main villain for this particular movie. We could not find them a role. We tried so hard, but in the end, we just gave up. They will be a part of the movie, probably for like a couple of parts, and then that'll just basically be it. They will have a much more bigger role in the sequel, which will come in Phase 2. And Phase 2 will come, hopefully, um, soon when I'm done with Phase 1. Yeah, so David and Lucas will have a much more of a bigger role in, in the sequel. So for now, Rapunzel is the main villain for the first movie. David and Lucas will be a main villain for the second movie. Again, they will have a few parts that they are... They will be in a few parts. After that, that is it. I don't know how many. Zill Selzen, Sin and I have not decided how many parts they will be in. But besides of that, they will be in a few parts. Basically, yeah. You can kind of say the make Hydro Destroyers will have a few parts. To them. They'll basically be featured in a few parts, and after that, that's just it. So, yeah, there's going to be no epic fight between Super Final Wars, David, and Lucas. But don't worry, that will come in the sequel. That will come in the sequel. Which, hopefully, I will get... At least half of the movies in Phase 1, like probably, like hopefully after um, Wrath and Terror of Evil Super Final Wars and Bring Back Legend, hopefully I'll get done with Battle for the Four Kingdoms, True Love Finds a Way, Destroy All Mega Monsters, Save the Earth, and hopefully Forbidden Love Done, and when I at least get halfway done with Vengeance, Super Final Wars is Revenge, then I will announce Phase 2. So, yeah. So basically, when I get half of the movie for Phase 1 done, I will and get somewhat and get halfway done for some Final Wars of Revenge, I will announce Phase 2. And I'll probably announce only a few movies, and after that, that'll basically be it. And hopefully when I get the last few movies for Phase 1 done, I will announce the other, other move. I will announce the movies for Phase 2. So, yeah. So, yeah, those are kind of the changes that we're kind of going with for now. So, we, I hope you guys understand, and I hope you guys will be excited for, hopefully, um, the next part for Evil Super Final Wars, hopefully when I'm done with War of the Monsters. And, yeah, tell me how excited are you guys are for Forbidden Love, and... And tell me if you guys are interested for Phase 2. Because I'm pretty sure... You guys are pretty excited for Phase 2. But again, I won't announce it until I'm halfway done with Super Final Wars Revenge. When I'm halfway done with Super Final Wars Revenge, I will announce it. 
Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.